Hey y'all, Heather with Fallen and Camping here, and I want to give you the scoop on peel and stick tile. I have been an RV renovator and a flipper now for about three years, and I am definitely guilty of putting this in uh, campers when I first started renovating them. But I have since learned some things about peel and stick tile, so I don't want you to make the same mistakes that I did when I first started out renovating RV. Okay, why do I hate them so much? Let me go ahead and tell you. So these are actually a really good cost-effective way to upgrade your RV. I think we all know that. And if you're looking into renovating your camper, you've probably come across these. Um, they're not super expensive and they look really good once you apply them to like a backsplash and a camper. Um, but let me just go ahead and tell you that in my personal experience on every camper I've put these in, they will fall down over time. So imagine you just put these up summertime comes okay your camper gets really really hot on the inside what do you think is going to happen to the glue that is on the back of these yeah that's right the glue heats up it melts and then it unsticks from the wall ask me how i know but say you used extra adhesive so you're pretty sure that it's not going to come off the wall okay well your camper's sitting there in the sun sunlight comes on it a year later your nice white tiles turn yellow. Ask me how I know. And I think for me personally, two strikes is enough, so I'm not using those anymore. So instead of using the peel and stick tile, I found some alternatives that I think are just as cost effective and look way better and have more functionality than these peel and stick tiles do. I have started buying these decorative panels from Home Depot. Um, they sell them in brick, which I really like. So I put that up and I'll whitewash it. Uh, and it just looks phenomenal. It's an easy wipe down because of the paint that I use. I use Bear Marquee, so it makes it really easy to just clean it right up. Um, but they also started making shiplap panel boards and I have used that as well. And they work phenomenal. I hope you guys have found that helpful. Um, and yeah, we don't need these anymore.